This is Predibase, the small language model platform to customize LLMs for your task. You can access everything in the platform programmatically through our Python SDK or REST APIs. But we also have a no-code UI to be able to prompt, fine-tune, and deploy your own models. And that's what I'll use to show you the platform today. When you get started in Predibase, you can start to query any different open source model that we have. We have a number of them already pre-deployed on serverless endpoints, or you can deploy your own on an on-demand instance. Now, open source base models are great, but where we think things get really interesting is when you connect your own data and customize these models towards your tasks. Connecting data inside the platform is really easy. You can choose any number of different data connectors we have. I'll show you one particular data set that I've connected through Snowflake today, called the Consumer Complaints data set. In the Consumer Complaints data set, we collect this from the FCC, and essentially they have a series of customer complaints that American consumers have levied against different financial services institutions. The consumer complaints might be long form text or short form text, and there's a few key tasks that the organization wants to do from there. They wanna classify based on the text what product the user's complaining about. Is it about debt collection, credit cards, or something else? What issue are they having? Is it about communication tactics, incorrect information, or something else? And then, just for fun, we had an additional task, which is where we prompted GPT-4 to write emails back to all of these irate consumers. And our goal was to show that you can fine tune a much smaller language model, like Llama 3.8 billion, to be able to do each of these tasks very efficiently. Classify the product, classify the issue, and write an email back to the user. So let me show you how that's done inside of our platform. Now at Predibase, we call fine tune models adapters because we customize a small set of the overall weights of the model and adapt them towards your task. We have a concept called adapter repositories, which is essentially a collection of all the different adapters that we've trained to be able to solve or experiment with a particular task. Training your first adapter is really easy. All you say is, I want to train a new adapter version. Point it towards your data set, and then select any of the different LLMs that you have in order to be able to fine tune. That's it for what you need to do to get started. We also expose a number of more advanced capabilities though, like choosing different types of fine tuning tasks, adjusting adapter rank, target modules, and others. In Predibase, we also have a new proprietary feature that we call TurboLora. It allows you to fine tune not just for improving the model quality, but also for speed. Using TurboLora, we see inference throughput increase anywhere from 50% to 3x on a given task. And it's a very unique way to be able to speed up your models. Once you kick off training, we'll handle practice, uh, putting in all the best practices and the infrastructure for scaling up that job. And it'll get it added to this adapter repository. You can see initially that I have three different adapters that I've already trained. The first version generates the email based on a company complaint. The second one classifies the product and the third one classifies the issue. I can click into any trained adapter to get a sense of what was its overall metrics. I can see things like loss over time, how long the training actually took. And if I wanna get more detailed, I can also go into a weights and dices dashboard to understand all the different metrics that I actually wanna be able to track over time. Once an adapter is trained, it's also immediately available for inference and I can prompt it directly either through our UI or through our REST API, SDK, or CLI. Let me show you through our UI how well this fine-tuned model actually does. Now, the first thing I'll show you is querying the base open source model on the task. And so I'll ask Llama38 billion to write an email back to this consumer and copy and paste a particular complaint from the uh, data set, which was about the Chase mortgage that the user had. And uh, right out of the box, you can see that the base open source model doesn't do that well. It tends to be very repetitive, and if you've ever worked with open source models, this kind of behavior probably feels familiar. The really cool thing with Predibase is I can actually load in my fine-tuned model directly on top of this base model by pulling in my consumer complaint demo and loading in a particular adapter version. If you remember, adapter version 1 was fine-tuned to be able to generate emails. And so when I query this particular model, you'll actually notice that immediately it does significantly better than what I saw before, and it gets back to that level of quality that we originally had in the data set. I can query adapter version two to understand what product this user is actually complaining about, which is a mortgage product. And I can query adapter version three to understand a little bit about what was the issue that they were really having. So in this way, using our open source LM inference framework, Lorax, we can actually multiplex a single deployment like Llama 3.8 billion to support many different fine tuned adapters without having to do a new deployment every single time. 
Once you're happy with your model performance, you can productionize it using our REST APIs or our SDK. And you can track your deployments and other healths directly in our Deploy tab. But that's everything that I wanted to show you for the Predibase demo today. Our platform is easy to use, and we look forward to seeing you on it very soon. Thank you.